What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of Quality Content Rick. So today we're going to be talking about the stocks I'm purchasing this week. Uh, with my $500, I transfer $500 to this account every week so I can be investing $100 a day. And this is going to be my account, uh, not my retirement account, but an investment account to add to my retirement account so I can retire early. So currently I have $56,000 in my account. Today's change, $283. And it says cash, $64, because I just bought some stocks. I had $600 something, but now it's $64. Um, you can look on here, it says available to day trade. We're not going to be day trading any stocks because I don't know how to do that. So let's go look at uh, the, the stocks I bought today. Let's look at the positions. Uh, current positions. The ones I bought today are Ford. I bought 10 shares of Ford, so I have a total of 160 shares. And that makes up 3.39% of my account. Let's go click on Ford. See how well it's doing. So Ford over the last year, been up and down, up and down. Had a pretty, pretty good down spot in November. Kind of coming back up. Let's look at their five year. So they had a real high spot in January of 22. Went up pretty good amount almost $25 around let's look at their dividend how much dividend am I going to get from Ford so I'm going to get 15 cents every quarter so that's 60 cents a year per share I currently have 160 shares annual dividend yield 4.93 pretty close to 5% it's not bad it's actually pretty high um, so I'm going to continue holding Ford for a very long time continue reinvesting in it Let's go look over here at this template here that I have. So the Ford stock 160 shares, that will yield me eight free dip, eight free shares every year based off dividend. Continue to reinvest my dividend. Snowball effect kicks in. I get more and more and more shares. Uh, and that's how I plan on retiring early. Continue investing, continue the dividend snowball effect. Another thing I bought today is VOO. Let's look at VOO over here. Get this pulled up. Click on VOO. I currently have 38.6938 shares of VOO. It's at $432 a share. I started buying this when it was a lot lower. And I bought one of these earlier. I, probably, I realistically am probably going to buy one VOO every week. For the next few years continue it's the s p 500 continue reinvesting in that you can look at the three year three year chart on this came out pretty good january 22 which i think everything was up at the beginning of 22 had a good drop down here september october 22 and it's on its way back up you look at the expense ratio of this fund 0.03 percent that's pretty low real low Total assets of VOO is $936 billion of this fund. It's holding 508 different uh, stocks in it. And let's go down here and look at the dividend. So the distribution yield is 1.48%. Oh, excuse me. And it's paying, previous dividend payment was $1.80. That was in December. September it paid one dollar and forty nine cents, dollar fifty seven, dollar forty eight, throughout the year of twenty twenty three. So when that dividend check hits, it continues to buy a small portion of the same exact uh, holding. Let's see. Let's go back over here. V O O. It shows I have. Well, I say thirty eight shares, and that right now it's only going to give me one, like half of one share per year based off my dividend so we need to get that up so i can get you know a whole share continue the uh, dividend snowball effect let's look at let's go back over here that's the only two things i bought today was ford and boo but i think next week i would like to buy some waste management here i need to get that account up a little bit get that 
position size up. And I'd also like to buy more of the BTI and BUG, but they're kind of pricey. I can only buy one of those per week. Um, so that's what I plan on doing until I'm at least 55, 56 years old. Uh, I should have a pretty good amount of money in here by the time I'm that age. If you go to future value calculator, continue investing my $26,000 a year, which is $500 a, a week. We look at 20 years from now, I'll be 62 years old. Should have $1.1 million in here. That's a pretty good amount because this isn't my 401k or my pension. So that would add to it. My 401k and pension should be around $2 million by the time I'm 60. So if we continue doing this, tell me, you know, 65, 67, which I don't think I'll be investing $500 a week when I'm 60 years old, but I'll continue to have the account and just withdraw the dividends off of it. It's pretty good, pretty good little position uh, to have to add with my pension and my 401k. And you can see here my VOO, that's where I want to get the VOO up to about 50%. I showed you all this last time. Four is kind of small still. I need to get these up a little bit, look, get these lows up a little bit more. ABBB has a good, uh, good dividend. I want to get that up. My dashboard, as you can see here, we already showed you this. Future Millionaire dashboard here is my name of my account. So those are just a couple things I bought this week. I'm going to continue sharing this information with y'all. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not an attorney. I'm not your financial advisor. I'm not a tax guy. I'm not any of that. I'm just showing you this for entertainment purposes only. I like if you give me a thumbs up and a subscribe if you like the information I'm sharing with you. It's real simple stuff. It's not hard to do. It's not hard to set up an account. Um, you know, if you're... If you're young in your 20s and 30s, whatever, and you want to put $100 a week into your uh, Roth, your IRA, your Roth, whatever, pull this up here, compound interest calculator, pull that up. No, that's not what we want to do. Compound interest calculator, enter. Why is it doing that? Pull this up here, go to the calculator site here an investment say you put fifty two hundred dollars a year which is a hundred dollars a week i don't like this calculator where's the nerd wall there it is initial deposit five thousand dollars contribution amount annually 5200 dollars years of growth if you're 25 you want to retire when you're 60 that's 35 years of growth eight percent you have a million dollars you do a hundred dollars a week from the year of 25 years old till you're 60 a million dollars that's not your 401k that's not bad that's really not that bad bad of an investment to have you know say if you're you know start late when you're 40 that'll give you 20 years of growth you put this into your Roth 270,000 put in your Roth IRA that's tax-free that's really not bad really not that bad at all but I think you could put 6,500 to your Roth 332,000 for 40, retire at 60, maybe retire at 62. 400,000 in your Roth, that's tax free dollars when you pull it out. That's really not that bad, you know. Put it in the SP 500, probably get a little bit better return than eight. I don't know, it's just things I like sharing. Talk about money, see what it's about. So, next, next week, I'm gonna have another $500 in this account right here. I'll share with you what we got, see if I got any uh, dividends that paid out at the beginning of January. Let's see if there's any more stocks on but I only got 64 more dollars for the week, so I don't think there's anything else I can buy with $60. I could buy FLQL. 
I might do that next week. All right, guys. If you appreciate what I got to offer, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it if you subscribe down there in that little box. And y'all have a good year. Peace.